Hello, my lovely fire signs. This is Debs and this is your TGIF love reading for Friday the 23rd of July. Welcome everyone. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, well. <laughs> it is great to be with you. And we're going to be looking at the energies coming through for you for this weekend and a brand new week. Now, fire signs, um, you're making a very big change in your life. You're literally, Michael showed somebody turning right, getting off a very busy highway down kind of a dirt road. So you're taking a different route, fire signs, for many of you. You're looking at things from a different perspective and you're changing course. That's all I got from Archangel Michael, but he's now showing me a rainbow. You're heading for peace, peace and calm. For some of you, this is you actually taking your foot off the gas and deciding I've been moving too fast. I've been going the same direction for too long. I need to take a right turn. I need to take a respite. I need to kind of slow down a little bit to have time to think. OK, interesting. Let's delve in and see what the cards have to say. Guys, really quick thing. Thank you for your lovely comments on my beautiful watch. Yeah, it's not real. <laughs> it's definitely not real. A lot of you are going, wow, diamond wristwatch. It's not. It's a crystal, but it's really sweet. Um, I like it because it's sparkly. It reminds me of the sun. I think it was about 40 euros on the Rue de France in Nice, but I love it. Anyway, there we go. Just so you know. <laughs> Let's delve in. Let's see what comes through. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us in this TGIF weekly love reading for my fire signs. Aries Leo Sag. Aries Leo Sag. Friday the 23rd of July. Moving through this weekend and into next week. What do you have, Michael? Thank you. His energy is with me. I'm feeling him behind me. Yeah, he's in prayer. Father Kerry is coming through, doing the sign of the cross. My two spirit guides, Angela and Rose, are with me. Cedric is with me. Okay. <laughs> Bless. Okay. Yeah, taking a right turn. I'm almost getting, you know, the feeling of, how can I, can I describe this, Michael? Okay. Um, say you're, you're on holiday, you've got your kids packed in the back of the car or, you know, you're going away with a friend of yours camping and you've been on the motorway for the last two or three hours. You're exhausted, you're tired, you need a break. You're getting off to have lunch. It's that sort of area. You're getting off a dual carriageway to go into a parking area where it's green and leafy to sit and think and chill and take a respite. That's the energy I'm getting. It's the energy. Okay. So it may be that you're doing a lot of careful introspection as to what you want in your life, where you're going. Are you with the right person? If not, do changes need to be made? That's the energy. Here goes, guys. After all that, we get the cards on the table. <laughs> so people, this is your energy. This is your person's energy. Yeah, straightening up the cards. You know, I always do. I know you laugh at me. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Let's just shift those up a fraction. Okay, people. From here, as always, we're going to be moving into... I'm feeling quite an erratic energy. It's interesting. I think you've just been moving too fast, fire sign. You're just wanting to slow down a bit. Yeah, Michael's telling me to slow down. Uh, Psychic Tarot, John Holland. Here we go. What is your guidance, please? That one really wants to come out. Thank you, Michael. What is your guidance from Psychic Tarot? Okay, that one and that one. Simple. Lastly, we're zipping into... Ooh, one card flew out. Okay, White Rose Guidance. Divine Love Messages, Volume 2. I'm going to be looking at these when I clarify for you individually, guys towards the end of the reading. And thank you for time stamping. Much appreciated. Michael's telling me to pick them out. Okay. Yes. Okay. Are you ready, fire sign? Let's have a look at the energy that you're sitting in. What's on your mind? How you're feeling at this moment? Let's see. Yeah, five of wands. I'm getting a weary energy from this. Fed up with fighting your corner, competition, drama, chaos, people having arguments with you, picking fights with you, just getting the feeling of just wanting to get out of Dodge, right? Um, work issues, partnership issues, just 
stress, stress. Yeah. Seven of Swords in reverse, trying to find a way to breathe, to find some space, wanting to kind of just get out of this situation, get out of the drama, get out of the chaos. But in the reverse, this is the positive energy of this card, which is strategizing. You know, this is you thinking to yourself, oh, this relationship is a nightmare. I want to try and find a bit of peace and time for myself. I want things to change. How am I going to do this? You know, maybe needing to talk to your partner, but wanting to be sensitive. Maybe for some of you fed up with drama in a partnership, I feel I might want to leave this connection, but I need to think about whether or not that's the right idea for me. That's the right thing for me to do. Again, taking time out for yourself to think, to strategize. Yeah. Three of cups in the reverse. You're just not feeling like going out, being social, not really wanting to party, meet different people. There's a deep sense of wanting to withdraw within yourself. For some of you, looking at these cards very plainly, there were arguments that you've been having with a partner about someone stepping out, somebody not being faithful, you know. Or there's a sense of we're not having fun anymore. We're just fighting now. What's the point? Again, I'm hearing... Taking a right turn, putting the car off the highway and just sitting quietly thinking. Getting off the fast track. This is your person. Let's have a look. Temperance in the reverse. Whoever you're dealing with, and it could well be a fellow fire sign, this is Sag energy. They're feeling emotional about the situation. They also aren't in a calm place. They're very up and down stressed and it's almost as if they aren't wanting to coast in the situation anymore either they're wanting to make a decision either to let go and move on or to try and take time to discuss what the issues are so that you two can get back on the same page mm. page of pentacles in reverse there could be some issues to do with children. One of you may have lost their job. The other one has to carry the other person. For some of you, this is someone who is very emotional and doesn't know if the two of you can patch things up. Should we start again? I'm just not sure this is working out. Yeah. Page of Cups. This could be an apology. This is, look, I know we've gone through issues. I know it's been chaotic. I know things have been tricky for us, but can we start again? You know, there, there is love still here. But this is just too much. Someone just wants to get out of the chaos of whatever this is. You know, maybe if you two are in a partnership, you just need a couple of days away. Just you. And I don't know why that's really important to say. No family members, no friends involved, you know, just you, just you too. It could well be that there is a need to sit down and have a proper conversation, you know, enough fighting, enough bickering, enough one-upping each other, enough ego involved. Let's just sit down and have an open, honest conversation. Do we want to work on this or should we let it go? It's that sort of energy. Yeah, let's have a look at Psychic Tarot. Okay, so your person, fire sign, I believe, is wanting to stand their ground. They have some ideas about what they want, maybe what happened, their take on things, their opinion. I feel that this is also someone, I don't know why I'm getting this, who wants to stand up for the relationship. Because there is a little message of, I still love you. I don't know if this is going to work out, but I'm feeling very emotional. I feel as if we should talk about things to try and work things out. Material harvest. Now this can be the equivalent of the nine of pentacles, okay? Harvest being materialism, pentacles energy, we have a nine. Somebody here may be thinking as to whether or not they should stand up for the connection, should we work on things, or simply, am I gonna be moving into being single? Nine of pentacles, should I just 
go it alone. Sitting on the fence a little bit. What do we do about this? Because relationships are meant to come into your life to help you grow, to learn, for support, for two people to help each other. A relationship is not supposed to be drama, chaos, lies, secrecy, issues, conflict. If you're more stressed in a relationship, why are you in it? So for some of you, you're thinking about that. God, am I better off alone? You know, balance. So fire sign, you're wanting balance in your life. And you're also trying to make a decision. I think we've got two people here who are seriously wondering whether or not they should try and patch up a situation or whether or not they should part. They don't want any more conflict. They don't want any high emotions. What do we do about this? Very interesting energy. So guys, without further ado, let's delve in. And I'm hearing Leo. My Leos. Hi guys, let's move in, see what happens. What is the energy for Leo, please? Thank you. In the situation. Leo, I feel you're a little bit confused because you're not sure if somebody is telling the truth or not. You may be considering moving on, but I feel that you're standing at crossroads. I do feel I'm connecting to a male Leo. Sorry, girls. I feel as if I am. And the cards are going crazy. Leo, you're wanting someone to put in the effort with you that they may not have done in the past. And you're reaching a big turning point in your life. It's almost getting to the point where you don't want to fight for this anymore. And you're considering moving on. I think you're going to have this conversation with your person. I also feel that you have love in your heart, Leo. And you may be wanting to consider moving towards somebody else who I'm hearing makes you feel much more peaceful, much calmer. This is someone who is... I'm hearing not so difficult to deal with. You're dealing with somebody or you have been who's just very difficult. Maybe they're wanting things all their way. Maybe they're just very moody. Somebody who messages you a lot and then nothing for days on end. You know, not quite sure what they're feeling. You could be dealing with someone at a distance. But there's a sense of I just can't be dealing with the stress of this. And I think you're beginning to realise that there might be someone, someone else, Leo, that you are potentially feeling would be a better fit. I'm not getting the sense, Leo, that you want to run off with somebody else and leave your person behind heartbroken. No, but I feel whoever you've been dealing with has just been causing you more problems than you actually want to deal with. And Leo, you know, if you think of the archetype of the lion, you know, Leo's like to be in a place of peace and calm. No drama, no drama. So I feel that if somebody's been giving you problems, hassles, issues, maybe fits of jealousy, I don't know, you're just thinking, oh my goodness, I just don't know if I want to deal with this. And I believe that you're thinking about moving in a different direction just to get yourself back into a balanced place. You may even, you may even be wanting to go it alone for a while and just concentrate on your career for a bit. I don't know, but I do feel that you're going to be reaching out to someone that you feel a strong connection to. Sorry guys, my little sign tipped over just now. My little Robin. <laughs> Let's have a look, Leo, see what the cards have to say. Fascinating energy, guys. Seven of Cups, confusion, because Leo, you're sat in arguments, disagreements, not really wanting to go out, not knowing if you want to reunite with someone, wanting to just get out of the situation, okay? Seven of Cups, confusion, also thinking about, Leo, what's going to make you happy? What makes me happy? Confusion that secrets have been kept. Maybe you'd be dealing with a Cancerian. You don't know how they're feeling about you, whether or not they're involved with anyone else. There's confusion. Feeling a veil is over the situation. They may not be honest with you. 
And of course that causes stress. This is you wanting to take action to shed light on how someone else feels about you. Just feeling very confused at the moment, emotionally. Nervous though, because you might have deep feelings for the person that you're connected to. Eight of Cups in reverse, not sure if you want to walk away from the situation. Again, you're in limbo. Yeah, look at that. You're in limbo. What do I do? Standing at crossroads or coming up to making an important decision. Do I want to put effort into this? Do I want to do this? Do I want to hold on to this person? Or do I want to take action and I'm hearing break free? There's a weariness coming through for you, Leo. It's kind of, I'm just tired of this. I don't want any more fights. I don't want any more drama. I'm not dealing with selfish people. Just let me sit here and have some peace. It's that sort of energy. Yeah, uh, you don't have any strength to fight for this anymore. Chariot energy again, cancer, looking at storm clouds. Oh gosh, okay, more drama, more conversation. Or you're simply wanting to talk to someone, could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, about the fact that you just feel stuck. This is, I don't know what to do. We're not getting on arguments and problems and issues. You know, you just want to move forward with love in your heart, Leo. <laughs> That's all you want. You want a peaceful, calm connection where somebody gives to you, you give to them. It's all nice and peaceful. You're supporting each other. So, Leo, are you looking at offering someone else a connection? Are you thinking of leaving someone who you feel is just causing drama in your life and moving forward in a new direction? Potentially for some. Eight of Wands, wanting to talk to someone, to see someone. Four of Wands. Thinking about someone who could bring stability to your life, somebody very calm and peaceful, because you're fed up with sleepless nights, insomnia, stress. What do I do? Where am I going in my life? Who am I supposed to be with? You're just feeling very isolated and unsupported by the person that you've been with. It's as if all I get from this relationship is just issues. You're just fed up with it. You're wanting a peaceful connection with overflowing love, given and received. And this is you thinking of leaving. Leaving the situation, three of wands. It's the image of somebody, you know, staring out across the water. I just want to get out of here. I want to jump on that ship. I want change. I want a different environment. I want a different energy around me. Again, feeling, I just want to get out of here. Justice, Libra energy. For some of you, you're thinking about a Libra or you're just wanting balance in your life. For some of you, you're thinking about a fellow fire sign. You're thinking about this queen of wands. This is someone that you feel a very strong connection to. You could be quietly in love with, but you may be dealing with a very difficult partner who won't let you go, who may be knowing that your emotions are shifting in a new direction and upset about that. And I'm so sorry, guys, if you are the person involved with this Leo and you feel things aren't going well. You know, love goes out to you because we've all been there. It's not easy. But Leo, a few Leo masculines out there, I think you are wanting to be with someone that you feel on the same page with, who could be a fellow fire sign. You feel very drawn to this person. You may feel that there is a spiritual connection. And you have faith that this could move forward in a beautiful way. So Leo, you are coming up to crossroads. You are going to be making a decision and it could be to leave where you are because it's just too much stress. And I think you've already got someone on your mind. Could be a Libra, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius like yourself, or even a Taurus. You're just wanting peace and calm. And you're thinking about moving towards somebody else. Now, let's move these cards before they are completely covered up with the other 
clarifications in the readings. Right, now we're moving into Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Sag, I feel that you've already left a bit of drama behind. I think you've closed out a cycle. I think you're realising that you don't want to go back to something. You're withholding messaging someone. You may feel as if the whole thing got, I'm hearing, toxic, difficult. You may have been dealing with... I've got to say it, issues with other people, again, who don't understand your adventurous spirit, your freedom loving. You, you can't be in a situation that's too restrictive, too controlling. You just want to find your happiness. You want to be moving forward in a peaceful situation. Yeah. Yes. You're trying to get out of your head about something. It's been taxing for you. Yeah, I'm feeling heavy burden. You could have realised that something was just not working for you. But you're feeling very nostalgic about the past. But I do think you realised that it was the right thing to do to leave that connection for sure. Just realising something that wasn't working out. Just wasn't working out. Yeah, I think you're going to be moving in a different direction. I think you're going to be picking your energy up, taking charge. For some of you, your focus may well be on career at this time. For others of you, you're getting yourself into a much more stable place emotionally, ready to kind of feel alive again, to get your enthusiasm for life going again. Yeah. Beginning to feel much more positive. I think you may be quietly moving towards someone else, somebody you may have known for a while. And taking charge, taking charge is what I'm hearing. That's everything Michael's telling me. Okay, Saji, let's see what's going on. Taking charge. Six of swords. You're moving to quieter waters, Saj. You've been through some lessons. You've been through some tough times. You're just, again, wanting to get out of Dodge, okay? Um, there was a cycle that you have very nearly closed out, could have been with a Scorpio. You realise that this was something that wasn't going to be working for you. You could also have been connecting to a Sagittarius. You realise this is not something I want to revisit. You've moved away from someone. Yeah, page of wands in reverse, withdrawing messages of passion, no more communication, realising this might have been toxic. You could have been involved with a Capricorn, but you're getting out of this. Yeah, you're moving very confidently into a new cycle, Sag. Look at that lovely energy. Yeah, you're not doing anything too risky. You're not taking any leaps of faith. You're just wanting to move into the energy of the sun. For some of you, you're thinking about a Leo. This could be you booking a trip somewhere. Yeah, I'm just going to get away for a few days. You're manifesting your happiness. You're manifesting also getting out of your head. Maybe you've just been overthinking everything too much recently, Sag. It's caused you to feel highly stressed. Yeah, this is you trying to see the lighter side of life. And of course, you're still healing from something that you got out of that you know wasn't good for you. A little bit of nostalgia from the past, but not going back. You're moving forward. You're getting your passion back. This is you building your finances up. This is you being creative, creative projects. You're back with your head down, Saji, for sure. You're feeling a lot more optimistic. 
and you're considering maybe reaching out to somebody across the water. For some of you, you're thinking about moving. Queen of Pentacles, you're concentrating on your finances. Now, for some Sag guys, you've left behind a situation that you realise just wasn't working for you and you may be moving towards an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Take it as it resonates, guys. With the Four of Cups in reverse, you do want love, but you want to be with somebody who is warm and nurturing and loving and giving, somebody that isn't going to cause you problems. Yeah, very strong message coming out for all of my fire signs, I feel. You're just not wanting any drama. No more drama. Not dealing with it. Now, last but not least, my beautiful Aries. Aries, what are you up to? I'm hearing fired up and on my way. <laughs> fired up and on my way. Aries, what are you dealing with? Ooh. All right. Cars are just flying out. Oh, Aries. Okay. You've dropped a situation that was draining for you. I'm actually hearing the ending of a long-term situation. You, you realized that it wasn't going anywhere. You may be rebuilding your finances right now. You may be deep into introspection. You could be thinking about a Virgo, Aries, is what I'm hearing. You're thinking about cycles of life, where you want to go now. You may be wanting to talk to a lawyer. I'm hearing about money. About money. Because you're making a decision. You're making a decision that you want, again, harmony in your life, Aries. You want to get back on track. I'm hearing back on track. Yes, you may be seeking legal advice. You may be thinking about the practical side of life at the moment. Finances are coming through very strongly for you, Aries. Finances. Yeah. Finances. It's as if you're closing out... Um, a rather intense chapter of your life and you're kind of just giving yourself time to settle into a new phase. Yeah, you're definitely dealing with the aftermath of something that broke down. Yeah, and I feel that you're holding yourself back and just gaining your courage because something crashed, I'm hearing crashed in your life and you've just been dealing with the aftermath of that. So this is a transition time for you, Aries, I feel. You also don't want to be living in fantasy land anymore. You want to get real with yourself. What do I really want? What is important for me right now? I'm seeing someone pushing away a group of people. No, I don't want to talk about that anymore. It's done, is what I'm hearing. It's just done. Let me... I'm hearing, let me have some peace. Oh, okay, Aries. Let me have some peace. Okay. It's very strong energy running through this reading for all of my fire signs. Guys, you just had it. You just had enough. You just had it. I just can't deal with any more stress and burden from other people's issues. That's what I'm feeling. Now, Aries, Ace of Wands, fired up. I'm hearing new start. I'm hearing new you. Whew, okay. Now, you could be thinking about a passionate new start with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For some of you, that's the truth. And it may well be that you're thinking about this, but why do I feel as if you're not taking action? Empress, somebody you see as an empress. This could also be a Taurus or a Libra. I feel as if you have left a situation, maybe with a karmic partner that was very draining very unfulfilling for you, Aries. Yeah, you could have lost finances in going through this process. Yeah, there might have been some overindulgence that was stamped down upon. You hasn't be, haven't been happy. Things haven't worked out. Mm. Maybe dealing with your finances. For some of you, you had to end a situation where you just felt isolated, alone, by yourself, unsupported. You could have ended things with a Virgo. You think you've been thinking about your money, Aries. You've been also concentrating on your savings. 
With the two of swords in reverse, I think you had to numb your feelings for a while, not wanting to make a decision. I think a decision has been made and I feel you're moving forward in a brand new direction. Very exciting. The divine is behind you on this. I'm hearing behind you all the way. The star, Aquarius. This is you again, wanting peace, harmony, wanting a balanced connection. You're just needing time for yourself. You could be seeking advice from an Aquarian man, or you could be purely thinking about speaking your truth about what you're really wanting. What is your true wish come true? What is your real wish come true? Knight of Pentacles. Talking to maybe somebody could be a lawyer about finances. The emperor could even be seeking advice from your own father. You could be starting your business, starting a new business with the energy of the king of pentacles. You're holding back from making any serious moves in terms of love, Aries. And for you cross watchers, I know you're going to be possibly a bit disappointed, but I feel you're holding yourself back. You could be thinking about a Leo. I'm hearing from the past because we have the King of Pentacles kind of looking back at this energy. But I feel that you're picking up the pieces of a situation that could have involved a Scorpio and Aries or a Pisces. Trying to use your intuition and again, moving through a place of healing. Aries, I really feel you're in transition. I don't think you're ready to make any serious decisions at all at the moment i think you're getting yourself together after a difficult ending and i think again you're pulling off that highway you're needing to take some time to think about what you want for the future not what everybody else wants aries what you are really wanting all right guys a white rose guidance so archangel michael a message for leo first one leo a thousand lifetimes with you would never be enough Leo, why do I get the impression that you've had enough of a certain partnership that's just been traumatic for you, full of issues you really don't want to have to deal with anymore? And I think you're moving very peacefully, possibly quietly, without telling many people, out of a situation towards somebody who does bring peace and balance into your life. I think that's your plan. Now... Sag, this one, okay, Sagittarius. Now, I wasn't looking for this. I don't know how to deal with this. Sag, you may have fallen in love with someone that it didn't work out with. I don't think you were planning on this. I think it came as a little bit of a shell shock. I think you are gathering yourself together and trying to make a decision as to what you want. You could be in the future deciding to move towards an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But you're definitely leaving something behind in the past and you're learning lessons, I feel. Okay. Now, finally, Aries. <laughs> Aries. So accurate. Love isn't always on time. Please be patient with me. Aries, I feel that that's either what you're wanting to say to somebody or this is what your person that you're thinking about is saying to you. You know, we don't need to rush. We know the feelings are there, or I know that you're dealing with the aftermath of an ending. I'm not pushing you in your own time. It's really nice. So whoever you're thinking about, Aries, is very happy to give you the time just to relax, to get yourself together, to get your finances in order. Maybe you're starting a new business. Maybe you're relocating, whatever this is. And I feel you're healing. You're in transition. Beautiful energy. So guys, pretty intense reading. I'm going to leave it there. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye guys.